Hello Boxing Fanatics, one more video, one more short, on the 3 minute, good video. Well, what do we have? Varley versus Fraser Clarks. It's happening, I mean they are been going back and forward for ages. I'm gonna be honest, I never thought it gonna happen. I thought it just it gonna be one of those fights, never ever happens and then everybody wonders why it didn't. But, we are here and it is happening, it's just happening around the corner. 31st first of March, O2 London, amazing. Uh, I'm gonna drop down the link for the tickets, people, too. Uh, again, if you like to see this one, I would suggest you to jump on it ASAP because there's not many tickets left, and the good thing is they're actually cheap. Okay, guys, let's jump on to this one. <laughs> Bit to cover. So, guys, speed running this one, three minutes or less. Let's jump on it. Varley, we know where he stands, um, no, pretty much no amateur background at all, <laughs> but he's doing quite well, 6-5, he's there, he's grinding, he's been knocking everyone out, really, really outstanding punching power, I've been criticizing him, but to be honest, every single time he pulled it off, so what can I really say about it, big phrase, amazing amateur background, only thing he hasn't achieved is gold medal in Olympic Games, he got bronze. Besides that, at 32, I think he has eight fights, hasn't done that much. Um, well, he started late. So this will gonna be a real test. Regardless of that, of his amateur background, his best fight was against Dave Allen, which was a bit of, um, I mean, it wasn't really a proud pleaser, uh, pleaser because the fight really ended up that Big phrase couldn't do much, and it took him a long time to really actually wear down Dave Allen. It really should be the other way around. Big phrase should really just steamroll this fight like it's nothing, but that didn't happen. So I think lots of people kind of lost faith in Big Phrase. Um, yeah, and I, actually I was one of them because I thought he gonna go there and he just gonna make it look easy. That's not the case. So having put that one against Wardley both boxes and Wally is a bit bigger and Wally usually boxes quite evenly till the moment he lands that one big shot and he capitalizes on that he just kind of turns around the, the, the fight uh, and really follows up finishing it off so I think this will gonna be the same thing because I haven't really been that impressed uh, with big phrase yeah I mean Impressive amateur background, but not really impressive boxing abilities. Don't want to really slack him off. I think he's very well rounded, but none of his um, boxing stats, if you may say that, really shines out there. Like his punching power, or his speed, or his ring IQ. It's all like six or seven. So I think Varley gonna win this one with a knockout. As being a bigger guy, punching way harder, he just gonna click click him at one moment. And gonna go down having said that guys uh, here's the map of the ticket so as you see there's not many tickets left okay guys the good thing is they're cheap as I said before and it's in London if you want I would suggest you jump on it now and get your tickets they're about 30 to 40 quid I think 40 quid something like that so you can enjoy a really good boxing show for quite cheap which is taking place in London okay guys I haven't said that uh, anyway three minutes or less Enjoy this, Mr. Zas out.